We should be streaming now. Okay, cool. Um, I'll shut the Dreamcast. Okay, I'll close. Yeah. Okay, yeah, looks like it's... Oh, okay, we're up. Hello, everyone. Unfortunately, this week we are also starting with Seaman. Yeah. And we'll then be moving on to... Uh, Lost Winds. A downloadable Wii game that's actually really good. Good evening. Welcome to the laboratory of Jean-Paul Gasset. Greetings, and welcome back. You're doing a good job. Let's see. The frogman has completely metamorphosized into frog form. He may appear somewhat grotesque, but oh, once no. you get used to him, he looks rather cute. No, really. <laughs> <laughs> At the moment, the habitat contains two frogmen. They are suffering from the cold. Please use the heater to raise the temperature to a more comfortable level. So let us head over to the tank. He still has a human head, unfortunately. Uh, He's more frog than man now. So I guess the big news since the last time we played this is it looks like a Seaman 3 might be happening. Or some new Seaman thing. Some sort of Seaman thing is in the works. Or has like, been heavily hinted online. Yeah, like Yutsaido has been tweeting that there is going to be some new thing. And it involves him digging up the masters of Leonard Nimoy's recordings for... Really? That, that, was, that. That, that was a CD. I'm so hungry. Can someone out there oh, put on uh, a sprinkler for me? There's not enough in. moisture oh, here. It's, it's, it's too dry in here. Can't... <laughs> Sorry, it's the hay fever. Can someone out there put on a sprinkler for me? There's not enough moisture here. It's so dry. I think it's in, man. But I feel like... <laughs> Achoo. Hey, turn up the heat, would you? Yeah, there's some sort of thing involving a gramophone on the logo, so shut. So right, I know right. Like Seaman doing the history of Seaman. That was my Hey, what are you stopping the heater for? Raise the temperature, would you? See that gray square thing in the back corner? That's a heater. Use it. Hello? I'm becoming a little dry here. Oh, yes. That good scooping thing it was doing. It's a heater. It. Why don't you go rustle me up some grub? How far are we into seeing him? Uh, 35 days? Uh, something like that. I said it's a February 4th, so I'm going to be doing it, like pushing it forward a day. I don't know how long we go through it as a full size frog. Like, there, there is an ending to the game. Feed me. I mean, if it's not too... There you go. I'm hungry now. Hey, I'm getting a little hungry. How about something to eat? <laughs> Why? 
I don't like it. I don't like it. I'd offer you some, but that would mean less for me. It's okay. We'll I'm good. Honest. I couldn't. spider to deal with? It looks like I think so in the back. I think it's starting to spin a web. Yeah, it sure is. We should make sure that they're both fed before we drop it in. Yeah. And with a sick seaman again. our mistake with this um, like a last month-ish. Let the mating begin. What? Oh. Okay, what are they gonna do? Something horrible. As long as I'm here, I might as well leave a few little seamen oh. behind. <laughs> Get it. I guess we hadn't fed them enough. And he's about to die, so I don't know if it matters. Hello? Are you listening? It looks like it's just sick. I guess let's talk right now. Or like maybe give it some scratches. Hey, you. I'm confused. Like, we're supposed to... Fine. Ignore me. Hello. Well, good morning. Apparently, there's a flu going around, so I say you load up on the vitamin C. I think I feel something coming up. <laughs> so we have to take care of the seaman now to make sure that it doesn't die. <laughs> oh, oh, no, oh you brute. Unhand me at once. <laughs> I'm really not feeling good. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I'm really not feeling good. Things that have its face. Uh. Yeah, maybe. No, but it can also have the pellets. How do we know there aren't TDC man faces on those? <laughs> I'm really not feeling good. <laughs> uh. Talk to me. What the hell is going on out there? Death, probably. Why don't you go do something more intellectually stimulating, like eat paint chips? How does seaman know my hobbies? 
Oh, I sound like Santa. Talk to me. Oh, 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 you brute. Unhand me at once. Talk to me. You know, when your country needs to decide something, like whether to raise or lower taxes, let women make a choice about having children, or if gay people deserve to be treated the same way as everyone else, why does it have to be so complicated? It used to be so much simpler. A king or maybe an emperor or a pharaoh would say, do it this way, and that would be that. No elections, no debates, no lobbyists, no congressional subcommittees, no endless legal battles. <laughs> ah, those were the days. <sighs> Why do you suppose your system is so complicated? Do you think it's done this way to give everyone a say in government? Wait, what, what did he ask? Uh, I don't know. Yes? Hmm. I, I really see. hope I didn't just add Your system fascism. of government is actually set up for exactly the opposite purpose. To make sure the people, that's you, don't get enough power to screw things up. So, let's see. Do you know what the Electoral College is? Yes. When you vote for a president, you're not actually voting to pick the next president. You're voting to pick a person to go to something called the Electoral College, and they pick the next president. It's a safety device that your founding fathers put in so that the people, that's you, don't get too close to actual power. <laughs> because they didn't trust you, you see. How about checks and balances? Do you know what that is? A beautiful dream. Well, good for you. They probably taught you in school that there are three branches of government. The president, the congress, and the court system. And the system of checks and balances ensures that no one branch of government can become too strong. Know why your founding fathers did that? So if the people tried to actually do something, let's say by electing a president they wanted, Congress and the Supreme Court could still stop them from messing things up. I think we've... So oh, what you have you is a system dreamer. designed to stop people like you from having a say in the government. It's just hidden a lot better than it would be in a kingdom or an empire. You should have just stuck with your kings. It's a lot simpler that way, you know. You could have had a smooth transition from King George III of England to King George Washington of Vermont. It would have saved a lot of money on printing costs, at least. Huh. Well, I'm all talked out. I'll see you later. You may have found the part of semen that's aged the most. <laughs> wow. Great chat, Seaman. Anybody else having bad FPS on the stream? Would you like to save and end the session? Yeah, let us know session? if you're having bad FPS. We may have something set long. Oh yeah, I'm seeing like it's flashing yellow. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, it's green. I don't know. Oh no, yeah, we're definitely getting some weirdness. Oh. No, it shouldn't be set to anything weird. And it's on. Yeah, it's not streaming anything here. Okay, well, let us know if anyone else has trouble with the frame rate. It might just be a blip. Good evening. Welcome to the laboratory of Jean-Paul Gasset. 
Greetings, and welcome back. You're doing a good job. At the moment, the habitat contains two frogmen. Seaman has become ill after eating a spider. Please take good care of him. Some kind words of encouragement may help him feel better. So let us head over to the tank. Not just tickle him. A moist seaman is a happy seaman. Can't you help me? Hey, why don't you turn on the sprinkler? Hey, it's getting cold. Turn the heat up. Oh, yes. It's cold in here. Ah, that feels great. <laughs> Hey, can you give me something to eat? It's cold in here, aren't you? I'm so hungry I could eat a seahorse. Yay! Are you trying to make me lose weight? Hey, I'm getting a little hungry. How about something to eat? I wonder if we can actually score some, because... Yeah. I can't remember, like, what the advantage is. Oh, right, it's if there's, like, excess larva, but right now... We need both. There's two down below that just pushed out of eggs. That was oh. what that sound was. Then let's... Listening. Forget if the sick one eats or not. Yeah. Hello. Are you listening? Hello. Talk to me. You know I could really eat. Uh, I feel terrible. I love you, Seaman. Oh, I really don't feel very well. Get well soon. Oh, I really don't feel very well. Oh, oh, I'm, I'm going to throw up if you don't watch out. <laughs> Oh, I think I feel something coming up. <laughs> I love you. I love you. Oh, I think I'm going to lose my lunch, if you know what I mean. Neither of you fuckers have eaten. Oh, good. Food. If I could vomit, that was damned yummy. <laughs> if I could vomit, that was damn yummy. Not sure that quite worked. Oh. 
We're too late to grab that oh, one no. and put it into storage. It's okay, we probably need more anyway. Yeah. Uh, Can you put those ones in the I'll grab like one of them. I think we've mentioned before there was actually a whole thing for tr like sharing food stuff with other seaman users. On the VMU, you can like trade. I'm not sure what the purpose of that was. We have noticed that there are some rare moths. Yeah, we have. Yeah, we have one of them moths. captured because we don't know what it's for. We're just completely baffled. seeds in here actually grows, like the plants that we've got in the corner that was doing that earlier. Oh, there's still another one. Yeah. I think we're actually having trouble because we're on top of each other. Oh, I see. I think I feel something coming up. <laughs> I love you, sea man. I love you. Oh, I really don't feel very well. Love you. Talk to the other one. Okay. Talk to me, Sea Man. Admire your reflection, Sea Man. Talk to me, Sea Man. Hey, it's Sea Man, not Seaman. Get it straight. <laughs> Talk to me. Not a lot. Hey, Seaman. Thank you, Rob. <laughs> Good. Talk to me. What's all that racket? Seaman, talk to me about monarchies. As if you cared. <laughs> talk to me. You know, over the centuries, human beliefs have ranged a wide berth. All sorts of people argue incessantly about their idols, their gods, and now it seems that people have narrowed it down to only a few. You being the human I'm the closest to, I'd really like to know what you think of this subject. More exactly, do you believe in a god or gods or some sort of supreme being? Yes. So you're saying you do believe in a higher presence than humankind? I don't want to hear him talk about atheism. Yes. I think this may not mm. get what you want. Human beings often consider themselves the most powerful animals on the planet, yet they often need to think of themselves as small and weak compared to some larger force. Intriguing. That was fine. That was... That was not a Reddit post, somehow. See how it goes.
talk to me. You say you believe in a higher power. Most humans who believe in God seem drawn to one faith or another, so I'm curious. What faith do you consider yourself? Christian. So you're Christian, is that right? Yes. The largest religion in the world, hmm? You probably already knew that. It also seems to be one of the most vocal religions. Talk to me. This better be important. No, it's, it's, it's deeply unimportant. Talk to me. Well, surely there's more to this religion thing than just picking one to belong to, hmm? No, that's it. I'm and guessing there's guess some that. kind of services or praying involved. How many times a month would you say you practice your religion? Uh, zero. I see you're not exactly what one would call a fanatic, <laughs> are you? Well, hey, no one's counting. Except me. One, two, three. I mean, I, I think generally according to the time, it's, uh, it, it actually, uh, Talk to me. Coming, Your Majesty. I think I can. I think I can. What are you? <sighs> <laughs> I love a good belly laugh. <laughs> oh. Awful. Stop it. Stop it. Stop Talk it. Talk to me. Talk to me. Considering your faith, I must ask you how you feel about people who fight over their religion. Wars have been raged all over the planet because humans choose to kill and die for their beliefs. What do you think about this? It's bad. <laughs> I'm sure you have your reasons, but I personally feel that humans whose faith leads them to violence are missing the point. <laughs> it's like this. Religion is like one of my food pellets. No, listen, I'm being serious. Food pellets are here to improve my life, yes? They are not meant to hurt me. They are meant to feed me and fill me up when I am hungry. It's the same with religion. Religion is meant to give humans a sense of fulfillment, right? Using religion as a reason to hurt people is like throwing food at my head because you want me to eat it. How's the spider playing? Oh, great. Spider now I'm probably giving you ideas. I'm not sure. I just hope that in Seaman 3 we can throw food at his head. <laughs> <laughs> well, it just throws shit at us while yeah, we're... Yeah, I know. That's probably also a metaphor for religion. Talk to me. What can I do for you? Uh -huh. Oh, oh, I'm I'm going to throw up if you don't watch out. Oh, oh, I'm I'm going to throw up if you don't watch out. Talk to me. All right. You've given me plenty to ponder, but here's what I really want to know. What my questions have been leading up to. Oh Ready? I want you to think about this and give me a serious answer. Do you think you're a good person? No. 
So you don't think you're a good person? I'm hmm? talking to you, aren't I? Yes. Politicians often say your society would be more ethical if more humans were religious, you know, and yet even though you belong to a faith, you don't think you're a good person. You present a very interesting paradox to their argument. Damn, it really makes you think. Talk to me. After everything you've told me about yourself, I think I already know how you feel on this subject, but I still want to ask you. Do you think religion makes the world a better place or a worse place? Better? Come on, I'm curious about what you think. Do you think religion makes the world a better or worse place? Better. Well, I guess that's not much of a shock. Of course, you think the world is better with religion, as you've probably had good experiences in the field. I wonder if you'd had different experiences if you'd feel the same about it. Well, how about this then? Let's say there were only one religion in the world. Would the world be a better or worse place? Worse. So you think the world would be worse off if there were only one religion? Yes. Interesting. I've known many people who are very arrogant about their religion. They think their faith is the only real one and all the others are wrong. I'm glad to hear that you appreciate diversity. Well, as I'm sure you've guessed, I find the whole institution of religion quite confounding. Ah, god damn Most it! Most humans run around like they're Thought masters of the, the world, while at the same oh, time dear. bowing down to a higher power that's supposed to make life better. On top of that, most people can't even agree on who or what the higher power is, so they argue and fight over it and bring about a lot of misery and heartbreak in the name of something that is supposed to bring people joy. I just don't get it. And quite frankly, just thinking about it gives me a headache, so I'm going to go away and try and figure it all out. I'll talk to you later. Don't go away and figure it out. Just go away. What's happening with Sicky Seaman? Would you like to save and end the session? We're ignoring him. Okay. Let's go turn on the Wii U. Okay. Change of what game we're playing. Ooh. I'm just doing the thing where it doesn't recognize the game. No space. I don't think Fedora creates a real business. Although. What? It's a sponsor of uh, Seaman's uh, 
12 part uh, YouTube video series on atheism. Unsubscribe. Okay, is this looking cracked? Looks like it's good. Sweet. Okay, let us know if there's anything with the sound on this. Move this a little bit out of the way. me at the time was how good this game looked for a downloadable Wii game. Because mm. uh, it's like pre-Unity, pre-sort of the ability to do budget 3D well. Um, commonly, at least. Is this one? Um, that's... Sure, let me check. to the illustrations. Mm -hmm. Sky. 
just sort of, just sort of situated in terms of uh, what sort of indie games were being put out. Um, this is the same year that Brain came out. Okay. So the year that indie was invented. I wouldn't go that far, but uh, <laughs> I know you're purposely being full of shit. But, um, no, it was like 2D was sort of what was being done. There were not a lot of small 3D games being done yet. to hear over the game. Okay, I'm going to lower the volume. Let us know if the volume's good now. So the structure of this game is a Metroidvania, but it's a Metroidvania that's only three hours long. Um, so we should be able to play through all of it um, in one go. I think you can get a second. Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah. One is a little bit less. Yeah. 
Um, oh, the third's barely anything. Yeah, I don't know what the music is, uh, like how, what the tech was. In general, like, I'm really impressed by how they got into, like, the wee small download size and still got a game that looks this good like you can definitely see they're doing some color stuff where it's the same textures repeated but with really drastically different colors um, to give different parts of the cave a different feel i feel like i don't know if that technique ever feels like enough to me Well, definitely, if, if all they had was the cave, it wouldn't be enough. I think you can probably have bounced out of that. Uh, that bit where you can see the... The surface up above. Maybe, no, maybe yeah. not. Try pushing forward there. It has also been almost 10 years since I played this, so... Yeah, maybe we can now backtrack. Maybe backing like all the way that way and there's some plenty we could go. about this game. I can see it looks and sounds nice, but just watching the gameplay seems really awkward. Um, as we progress and the powers come in, to me it's a really nicely done, compact Metroidvania, um, which is something I always appreciate. Um, also, I, I do think that the Wii's weird mix of having both a cursor and an analog gamepad um, it's a game that sort of only really makes sense in that context. You can get it for PC. Um, I assume it's still just mouse. Yeah. Yeah, no, I feel like this is a lot better than most uh, Wii, like, cursor-based games, which I, like, really dislike. I have so much trouble with coordinating that. I feel like that, like, you, you never owned a Wii, though, right? I mean, no, my little brother did, so yeah. I'll take it, but... Um, it like is that's something that's partially loaned, like it is not, just like loaning an analog stick, etc. Um, there is a skill to learning how the pointer stuff works. It's not quite as intuitive as Nintendo made it out to be. Definitely not. Um, like, this uses it well, um, the Trauma Center games will use it really well. And it does, like, there is a specific thing that you can do on a Wii that you couldn't really do on anything else, which was this mix of cursor and gamepad. enough of this fruit. I don't actually know what they... They refill your health, which hasn't been a problem yet. I see. So I think go down and talk to that person. I did. Yeah, oh, okay. I was when I was looking at the chat. Um, So 
So the movement on this is controlled by the analog stick, but the jumping is by, uh... It's all the wind. Trying to slow down. And since it does so slow down time during the jumps, it does give you a chance, enough time to... Yeah, I have an idea. I can't remember what the collectibles get you, if anything. Oh, that's a safe spot, I believe. He's oh, mentioning yeah, the, kind of subtle. the depth of field stuff that they did. Um, this is a fairly early example of Bloom, I think, also. Um, and actually doesn't do terrible things with it, which was really common at the time. <laughs> As I've mentioned on previous streams, every time a new tech shows up, it gets abused and overused by artists. Like, but we did not do a lot of fancy, like, shader and surface stuff, usually. Um, The characters in this have definitely like a really interesting sort of texture to them and the yeah. way light bounces off of them. Like oh yeah, doesn't mess start with the kids. The <laughs> yeah, it, it's even directional. Bow to me, children. <laughs> up, down, up, down, left, right, left, right. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Yeah, I love all the like, little particles and stuff when you go through. Yeah. doing like a reverse bloom thing. Usually bloom is using like a brightening and yeah. it's using a darkening when you talk. Mm. And I like that it's just sort of bashing these things against stuff with the physics. Yeah. You can also like launch yourself into them. Yeah. Partially cursor based game has a really good game feel. Like the way that like that mumbles but doesn't break when you hit it against it.
Yeah, a lot of the puzzles use the elements and use the environment in neat ways. Like the same way that you could like wash water over something. Yeah. something where it's uh, like angling it towards Carlos. Kind of lifting it up and smashing it for This is also like before a lot of physics-y platformy games. Cave note too odorous is a great. See if you can spin the uh, the big wind. into the different types of seeds, which is a neat part of how this game does stuff. You gotta do the Z thing, I think. No, don't do that. Oh.
Good sound design on little people sounds. Yeah. Type of thing that can be really annoying. Done poorly. This is really cute. Swiping down on it and see if that does something. I'm trying to remember. Ah. Oh. Okay, that's pretty good. Could use a little bit more uh, yeah, exaggerated little... bat stuff. I mean, I just assume because it's a video game, you can obviously yeah. jump on the mushroom. in the background doing stuff. Yeah, it's cute. Always good in... Oh. Um, that was a little bit too far down. Yeah. I'm definitely slightly surprised that it has fall damage, although the light's obviously easily mitigated. Yeah. I feel like this one is very normal for the style of 2D game. Yeah, it does give like another for feed walk with. Yeah. Um. I think it's entirely because it doesn't actually like change the way you approach anything. You just need to have to. Yeah, you have to just make sure you do the thing. There's little puffs coming up. Yeah, from I don't it. know. It seems to be happening a lot. Yeah. If 
try swiping down and up and around it. I wonder if there's something slipping in there. Which is another yeah. Metroidvania that's very short, but that is also like something I really like. You need to do out a bit and then cause you're like slamming it against the uh... Do more things. Plant more seeds. Upgrade the wind. The way these sort of like puff away reminds me a bit of the enemies in Eco, but instead of hitting them with a stick, you're flinging them around with the wind. Hmm. Yeah, the, the knit person is still doing stuff. Uh, they put out, I don't remember the name of it right now, Nog, I think, um, which does a lot of interesting stuff with procedural music and with like picking objects up. Um, has a weird thing where the wo save room is the only thing that's permanent, and every time you die, everything else. It's quite cool, I've only played a little bit of it. Um, oh. 
<laughs> oh, neat. I'm not sure that's useful, but it's definitely Might be useful later. I just, I'm always happy when things are like consistent yeah. in that way. We need some other ability before we can. Oh. When you hit it with fire, that's what did it. I heard it. I heard a sound. Oh. You're basically too weak to do anything. Yeah, you can't push it. You just need the wind. You're I mean, a small that makes child. sense. That is the size of me. I could not move a ball with the size of me. This is certainly not a blade. Oof, you keep on hitting yourself with the lock. Yeah, you gotta be careful with it. Ugh. That the locks hurt you? Yeah, yeah no, it's a little bit. Okay. 
Yeah, we're missing an ability. That's why we couldn't. So up until this point, we could only do linear wind lines. Now, yeah. we can actually trace them around. Oh, that's super cute. And then these seeds, yeah, we can now use to feel metroidvanias often get wrong, and this one I feel generally gets right, is that um, the sort of like, you have the blue missiles, you can now open up the blue doors. It's <laughs> like, metroidvania is all about the abilities gating yeah. the player. And as you gain abilities, it unlocks the gates. And the more you can sort of disguise that connection, and make it feel like organic. For example, I think one of the worst is the double jump size, the platform. Yeah, that bugs me less because double jump still gets you other stuff, whereas like a different colored missile. Or okay, so the... like, yeah, no, like definitely a different colored missile door is a real bad one. Um, you find this in like actual Metroid is that like like you just have like the high jump boots. Yeah. Which is like adds nothing interesting. Oh no! Oh nice. Oh okay, so I guess I lost a win thing something. Yeah. But I think I've been filling those up by grabbing yeah. the little sprites. See, like what I like here is that you've got a new ability that lets you man manipulate stuff in a variety of ways. Yeah. Um, and that happens to also allow you to now open doors like that. one above there that we could check out. Uh, I couldn't get back up there. Ah, okay. Because the uh, thing had been replaced with a keyboard. Ah, uh, yeah. So we have to backtrack around to get there later. Yeah. Which is... So here they've... Same textures, but they've now added crystals to make it look more yeah. interesting. I do feel like the thing where, like, something just changes from you got a new power, but like not because of the new power, just it changed as a trigger is always like a bad way of going about things. Yeah, no, especially when it seems completely unrelated. Yeah, exactly. So there's nothing to yeah, grow. Nothing to yeah, here's where we start to get stuff chaining around in interesting ways. So that needs to be smoldering for blowing on it to work. But yeah, you can trace fire around. Well, okay. I'm not sure that was necessary. Oh, okay. But now it is. Because you want to run that so that you can use it somewhere else. So yeah, try to figure out like how to get the element you need to the right spot. Um. And then this transference of basically a, a dope patch can be toned into all sorts of different types of tools. Depending on the seed you put in it. No, I think 
this was one of the inspirations when I was working on the Gorilla Gardening game for a year or two. It was around this time, it was oh. 2008, 2009. Yeah, I can definitely see So that. I had played this recently. <laughs> I think I played a few other things that used planting as a mechanic. Probably. So like, night, like one of the sort of signs that uh, adding that power was is more than just being a lock and key is the fact that it now opens all these new sorts of types of puzzles of like yeah. Maybe now that you can draw a slip stream, you can actually oh, yeah. um, smash through. Maybe bounce it off with a mushroom to get it up. There's a sort of difference between a sharp single vector. Oh, I just don't know if like you like ever need to in, in practice use the other one. Like I feel like they could have consolidated the two. And not. Yeah. I feel like there's gotta be a way for us to smash up, but I wonder if there's something we got pushed up. Yeah, I think oh, we just don't have Seems like the least important thing I can do now. I should do that first.
I feel like the third teeny jump is there basically is an error correction. Yeah. Like nothing is set that requires it. It's just, oh, you've done your two double jumps and you were slightly off. Here is like a little final push you can do. Messages if you're going off track. It's yeah, specifically you press the minus button if you don't know which way to go. the madness returns and I really need to because um, I know through the internet several of the artists who worked on it and they all a bunch of them did guest art for the Bleed Pixels and everything I've seen of the art from that game is amazing um, but I've not played it trying to figure out as you said there's like a weird oh the buzzing happens when it's off screen really or blocked in some way and i think we're occasionally blocking it oh huh oh. so that didn't actually seem to be a problem i guess pretty good like don't move the cursor randomly if it suddenly loses Yeah, it just disappears, it fades it out if it's covered, oh, and okay. buzzes to tell you. Huh. So it's probably meant mostly is just to help to tell what you know that you've left the screen. It's just weird, because like, it didn't actually feel necessary, like it was actually in yeah. trouble with that, in terms of getting input. Yeah, like when I, I mouse towards... <laughs> Yeah, I think it's basically just if it's getting having a bit of an issue. And since we've got the mic and stuff in the way. Huh? Oh. <laughs> Is that a baby? Huh? Yep. Huh? 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 
know. Miguel, don't shake baby. Babies need a good shaking sometimes. False. Truth. saying the same old stuff. Okay, we have to go to a cliffside village to the east. Ah, this is now sprouted. So yeah, that is, this is a an example of what Christine was talking about of things just changing because um, you've gone farther along. The good news is you definitely have enough for, for two gin and tonics. Even Excellent. better news is your stove is no longer on. That's good news. <laughs> Whoops. So did something change? Um, yeah, this one that was all crumpled up so we couldn't use it is now sprouted and I feel like they could have had some water source that we could splash on yeah um, now that we have the remember you can use oh yeah to... I haven't used the slipstream yet I feel like a better way to do that is like you know if they had something gating it that you like could only get through with the slipstream like I feel like well it was supposed to be the gate I feel kind of but I mean the fact that the gate didn't even appear until you had the power yeah. is... Like, I feel like I never like the causality on that. It just never yeah. feels... No, I agree. I think that that is... Like, this gating is great, where it's like, oh, I can now have the ability to manipulate fire in neat ways. Also good fire particle effects on this, like kind of neat. Oh stylized. yeah, just like little wisps. Yeah, it's really like, good. Game has some really solid art directing. You should grab those little sprites whenever you see them. Oh yeah, what do they do? I know they give you like those extra lives things. Mm, okay. It's funny, I find this in general playing like Metroidvania as a second time is you forget some of the powers that you get. It's like that whole bit where we're trying to like see if we could blow that wind. Yeah. I think I was so insistent that we would be able to because most of my memory was being able to do that. Yeah. I know I've definitely had that with other games with gated abilities. <laughs> Sorry. I just 
found that amusing. <laughs> I agree. Um, Andy's saying that um, uh, movement-based abilities as gates are more interesting than, like, colored keys for colored I, 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 I agree. And I definitely agree with that. But then she goes on to say that holding off on movement abilities means that the start of your game is less interesting than the end. Which, I, I feel like a lot of the time, like, really powerful movement abilities actually make the game less interesting and like sort of make it like trivially easy to move around. Yeah, I feel like that's a less, like it can be the case and it cannot be the case. It really depends on the level design and a bunch of other yeah. stuff. I feel like speed-based abilities being gated, like if a game has bad game feel until you get the right abilities, which yeah. is something I've definitely come across on some modern platform design. Well, I mean, that like we encountered really... that in uh, Wonder Boy. Like that feels like yeah. a really, like, old bad idea. Is that like a little campfire? But I feel like we'll talk about more of that more uh, when we get around to doing uh, Metroid games. Yeah. That's because those are really, really heavy on uh, movement based. Oh, I guess I was supposed to talk to him and find out there was a puzzle there, but I was just like, Talking. setting things on fire! <laughs> okay. I'm in general, like, outside of just this game and outside of this genre, a fan of interesting elemental interactions. Because it's something that's easy to, like, players understand them right away. Because we understand fire, bone stuff. Water makes things wet. Yeah. Um, so it's easy to explain, but has like the ability to do a lot of like rich interactions. <laughs> oh, that feels good. Oh, I see. It's something I'm gonna have to. Oh, the rock. Ooh. Also, like they've added just a few little textural elements, and now this is sort of ruins area. Again, with the sort of like the constraint of trying to get something that works with in the download size, but also keeps you seeing some fresh stuff. I don't know what the Wii's download size was, but it could not have been that big. Like the storage wasn't huge on it. Yeah, when I was causing the rumble to just keep going, it's something of visibility, I'm pretty sure. Uh -huh. I hope stream can still hear me. The maximum size for a WiiWare game was 40 megabytes. Okay, yeah. That's not very big. Something is definitely fucking with the, uh... That's weird, because it doesn't actually impact the game at all. Like, they're just... Yeah. Too clever. Don't get too close to the rock. Let me see if I can...
chat saying. I can say that definitely like the 40 megabyte limit is um, influencing uh, like music decisions in this because that's like really not enough for uh, like streamed audio. Yeah. Um, for reference, uh, digital love story is 30 megabytes and all of that is is audio. Yeah. get away with using a lot less music just because the atmosphere in the game. Yeah. said, oh, I guess that was my little people. Yeah. My little spirit saying that. Oh, well, I trapped that guy in there. <laughs> well, he's gonna die now. Oh, oh missed. Do this. I feel like this would be really satisfying if I pull it off. those guys right down into the ground and like pretty much insta kill them. Doesn't work with the leafy ones since they've got the protective covering of a leaf. Heavy armor. So on our on our list of mm. ones we want to do since it's um, the intersection of Metroidvania and also cooking, which is relevant to both their interests. Yeah, I've only played a very little bit of it, um, but really liked what I played. It's it's extremely chill and moody. big of a genre as it should be. Like the fact that its focus is definitely more on the puzzles than it is on... I do feel like the combat is not necessarily very necessary. Like, I don't know if it's really adding anything. Yeah. It's adding activity. Like, sort of just giving you something to do in the space as you're traversing. Yeah. Yeah, that uh -huh. is true. There's definitely something a little yeah. bit off with how they're calculating that stuff. Huh? Huh? Hold on to that baby, lady. Miguel, no! Bow to me, small children. Miguel, no! I know what you're talking about. The power's totally not coming to you going to my head. I am not a small little wind dictator. <laughs>
I don't know how you actually get hurt in combat. They glom onto you and then eventually do damage, oh, I believe. Okay. I mean, I really it's all very, very time. chill, like not threatening, not yeah. challenging. Which I think is the right choice for this game. It's definitely one of my least favorites. Like, they're never satisfying. It just, like, feels so arbitrary. I feel like the writing and story in this is very much an excuse to wander around and do stuff. Um, yeah. Like the attention towards art and sound and such seems a lot higher. I definitely don't feel like it needs any of this writing at all. Good multi-use stuff, like the fire also hurts the enemies. Does it make a big difference? No, but it gives you a little, like, something to mess around with when you're in that situation. This was here before. Oh no, it was. We've been here. Just now keeping my eye out for that gating that's just based on. Yeah, that's the big problem, is that it means you can't predict. I think I gotta stop swiping before I land um, to actually land safely. Are you doing like, are you holding A? Yeah. Don't hold A. When you're doing the landing thing. Wait, what do I hold? Nothing. What, just wave? Yeah. That doesn't seem to slow me down. It does. Holding A does, but not. You don't need to from that height. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so 
So this is not the entrance. I like the uh, super cheap dust particles. <laughs> there, if you look at it, you can tell it's just a tube with a texture. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because that was probably more particles than you want to be rendering, I would guess. Well, it's a lot easier to just uh... do a UV uh, animation, so it's just scrolling the texture slowly. <laughs> Yeah, we don't know how to open these yet. Yeah, not that one. sorts of geometry to make it feel like 40 mag. Yeah. It doesn't really change anything, but from just a game feel. Yeah, it's cute. Oh, we're getting some crystals again. Uh, good old switch that you have to put a rock on top. Never gets old. Snow as like 
your single TV. Hmm. That way you can, um... Because I feel like that's just, like, a much better move. And... You know, if you can remember any snow, then... Well, I've got good news for you. <laughs> The next one of these is in a is winter time. And I actually do some really cool stuff with that cool. mechanically. There we go. I just want I just want all winter all the time. Oh. We need to move this close so people are having trouble. Yeah, we can move this close now that I've yeah. turned off Wumble. Oh yeah, I was just saying caves are boring, snow is great. I feel like that's a much easier way to get you know, overwhelmingly a single feeling while I like actually evoking. Yeah, this did sort of need like some tunnely areas. Um. Oh. Okay. That's... Whoa. Can you like? Oh, that's really cool. And I guess because it's light, you can just like throw yeah. it around forever. Yeah, I am sets an attractive the snow thing, and that aspect was good, but otherwise, it's a really, really, really boring game. Vortex. Oh. It's interesting, like, in this, it's not, like, while it, the secondary thing is that it gives you the ability to move around more, um... It says mostly it gives you more precise control over things. Over, yeah, your ability to, to move things with the wind. It's yeah. more about your ability to move other things than it is about your ability to move yourself. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Also, I really like the, that it makes a noise, which is good. Definitely just makes it nice to just move around. It's really satisfying. And that breaks the crystal. Oh, because it read, oh, that's cool. Yeah. Oh, shit, rock ones. Wait, can you make it resonate? Oh, I wonder. Ah, that's how, like, when things are spun, they do more dead, like, they do yeah. more. Up. Oops. One of those is just fruit. Oh, and you can have it in multiple vortexes at the same time. Yeah.
done the thing where they've trapped us somewhere where the only way to get through is to use our ability. So we now know that that smashes that type of gate. Is this fruit powerful enough? Powerful fruit. Yes, it is. You can smash gates with fruit. Fruit power. And that was clearly just there to teach us that, because it was the only way to... Yeah, this game is very, like, um, systemically... Consistent. Yeah. Like the way that, like. Oh, the fruit does break really Yeah, so it's like an endless supply of rocks if needed. Although I didn't want to find one. Another gate? Oh, I need to smash that gate, probably, up with there. The, with the wiffle ball. The musical wiffle ball? Yeah. Best musical instrument in the game. Oh, maybe there's another switch somewhere. Ah, uh, yeah, there's another. It's, it's the same. Oh, well, that, like. Switch on one side and then a pulley thing on the other. I think that might be blocked off though. I think that might be like what you're going to. Uh, there's a lot around here. Or maybe. I can't affect it when it's over there. Could you just bring down one of the. Oh, you could probably use that rock to. Mm. Oh yeah, I can now... Fun. That did it. Yeah. the vortex. Confused about the slowdown stuff. It's yeah, it's definitely not holding a. No, I should try not holding a, and it would seem to slow me down. Should. <laughs> Wait, I always forget if that's even yeah, an option. Yeah, you can just slip straight in that one. It's light. Oh, I can't double slipstream it, okay. 
Stop hitting yourself. I do feel like in terms of having combat, like it's a very different feel from say Ned stories, which is also like yeah. still a very chill vibe, but also like the combat is it has combat in the form of puzzles. Yeah. Like it's always um in the form of you have to drop a cloaking to like get past or you have to have ability that allows you to get past. Yeah, no, I don't think the combat is bringing much to this. Oh, just, it doesn't even have to hit. It can hit. That looks like just having it spin yeah. fast enough. The kill frequency. Just like a different colored thing uh, opens different colored doors, but because they've actually made like themed them and they feel a little bit different to mess around yeah. with. Um, ah, okay, that was the one I was just leading, doing a big circle to get. I do feel like there are lots of um, DS games that use um, the stylus to like directly interact with um, yeah. the player. I feel like like the most obvious example that comes to mind is uh, Kirby's Canvas Curse, which yeah. is like you are like directly interacting with, and it obscuring the screen. I don't think is a huge problem. Yeah, no, I think that's another like the DS is another thing that has this interesting mix between. A mouse-like interface and yeah. an analog stick. Although, man, I bet that game fucking sucks to play left-handed. Oof, probably. <sighs> this one? No, no um, this, this one Canvas switch. Curse. Because, like, yeah. you'd be moving your, your hand over. Yourself. Stop hitting yourself in Stop the head. Hitting yourself. Stop, Stop hitting yourself. Stop to get the, there's a lot of those little like statues so oh. it's an extra challenge oh I see. good bit of extra challenge there's also just a rock there oh is there okay the rock that you used to smash the, the door to begin with yeah yeah case of puzzle is not as good as I thought it was <laughs> I think it's okay if it's a little easier than it seems That's... You can press down on the on the stick to uh, just look down. Okay. Let me get the. 
Where is it? I feel like it's behind. Like, I feel like it gets obscured by, uh... No? Huh. I think it's, it got destroyed when I smashed, so maybe this is the puzzle. Oh. One problem I have is that I wish you could just pick it up. It's a little bit too impressive. Wait, for this one I can just pick it up. Oh. I'm dumb. Well, okay, right. Okay. So just <laughs> that's go up. much easier. Just go up right now. I need to put this down to be able to. Oh, I see you're saying. Oh, whoops. I destroyed my stone. Yeah, that one you can't. Yeah, just go up and so, then do it from above. Yeah, you're right. And that's probably why it's there, because otherwise... You could get yourself stuck. Yeah. Like so. <laughs> Like, even if you, like, I bet it was originally just a rock, but then players flung the rock off screen and then weren't able yeah. to get them back. I should have a bit of trouble getting. Oh, well, maybe it was just to do that. Yeah, maybe. Okay, got a seat. Now, where did I need to take this? <laughs> about a dating sim where you use the styles to pet boys. Ah, okay. You know, as one does. I feel like that was definitely a genre of DS game. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was weird that that took fallen damage. I mean, let's be fair, there's also video games that do it too. Yeah. Go plant it. Oh, oh, there's the... <laughs> I feel like they could have made this a little bit of a better color. Yeah, it's not... I wasn't paying attention. It and... doesn't really stand out. I do really like that, like, changing the environment by, like, placing... bouncy objects <laughs> around... Seed. Are starting to get more intricate. Okay. I wonder if we can use the seed 
to smash. Oh, through. use the seed on the kill frequency. Yeah. Probably. You can do it with fruits. Yeah. Yeah, that I like that. You're not like use the thing here, but as a smashy object. I'm trying to remember what it's called. It's actually a name for the um, psychological thing of thinking of something with only one use mm -hmm. when it actually has multiple uses. It's like encoding specificity or something like that. Um, but a big part of puzzle design is either like messing with people to like make them mess that up or when they're stuck on that getting them unstuck it's like that was a that bit with the fruit was to basically unstick you from hmm okay we should that, definitely eat that yeah to make it clear that it worked with everything because otherwise yeah I can see oh, people there's very the, uh... easily learning that uh, it only works with yeah rocks now you have those spinning things so you can. Now you wanna grab the you wanna grab the other one. I it looks like it needs water before it'll sprout. Does it? Yeah. Can you try and grab it? Yeah, I can try. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so we need to come back here, hopefully with some source of water. I don't know if you still need that. I feel like I'll need it somewhere. So I may as well. Oh. Carry it with me. Okay, I'm not getting up there. That seems too high. I gotta eat more when I get back down because I apparently am able to. Oh, for fuck's sakes. I think you have to do it like right underneath. Yeah. Can you make a slipstream with water? Um, yeah. You can get it all the way around. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's get me all fed. Oh yeah, I can slipstream with Yeah, it. that's what it's for. Yeah. Okay, so you do that. I was wondering whether it was just letting me do it through the geometry, but no, you actually have to... Yep. No slipstream. Slipstream too soon. So you should use the basic jump to get where I need to be. Is it time based or is it number of like amount of I'm not sure. stuff we could have done in that area because there was like that seed that I could have taken up to the top area yeah. maybe I'll need to do that later That's what 
with that. they didn't make the decision for fire to hurt you. Yeah, that would be really bad. It's like a case of choosing the right things to be inconsistent about. Okay. So this opens this up, but I guess we've got to find where... Oh, I see. I feel like it could have used some sort of light to indicate where exits are, because sometimes it's not clear to me. Yeah, so the Wii mode can't tell where you're pointing at once it's off screen, um, other than using like, um, on the gyroscope stuff. But what it can do is it can just say that, oh, it went off, off screen here and then came back here. Therefore, there must be a curve between those two points, which is probably what it's doing. Oh, so was I doing a lot of, like, off-screen? Yeah. Well, because, like, that, yeah. that, 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 like, that pillar was, like, the side of the screen. Yeah, it actually can tell off-screen a certain amount, because so long as it can still see, it's a camera here seeing the two IR things there. So sometimes it can measure a bit off of the screen, because it's not going to know how big my TV is. Right, because it's designed to deal with it. Yeah. Um, it is actually a one-to-one -one pointer with the TV. Um, so that could also be it, is that it's still continuing to read it, even though it can't show it on the screen. I'd be surprised if it was providing values for that. Like, I assume it doesn't give negative values for location. But that's just speculating. Yeah. Whoa. What is this new thing? Oh. oh. It's like a weird puppy. One that is not, not a puppy. It is totally a puppy. It's not a puppy. Oh, I'll see, I've got to avoid the puppy. <laughs> ah. Christine, any tips on puppy avoidance? Step one, learn how to identify a puppy. Okay, I've identified a puppy. It's on the ground down there. You need to deal with a puppy. <laughs> Great chat. I mean, it was okay way to open a chest, I guess, but severely lacking in the butt wiggle department. There. I mean, how 
how do you do the uh, uh, like the whirlwind thing? Oh, it's just A and do, and do a quick spin. It's really good at detecting it, from what I can talk. I think they basically went like, okay, be overzealous, rather than require like extreme precision. So we're planning to go talk to old man. Yep. And he'll talk tell us where the next the one is. Guy. MacGuffin of Justice. So I'm not sure if we just skipped some puzzles for optional stuff or if we're going to end up back down there. Um, Probably there was some that yeah. could get us a totem. This, I don't know if, like, I don't know if it was optional puzzle, puzzles are part of this. Some interesting ones with moving seeds around oh. and dealing with fire not being able to go through water. And stuff oh. like that. Like in general, I'm really pretty impressed with their their weird little puzzle system with plants and fire. Yeah. Just really weird lines that stick with you for 20 years. Mm -hmm. It's also very Twin Peaks in that way. Many two chests are. The first chest is hidden at the highest point of Wither Falls, so that away. Okay. East side of Ruined Village. Oh, right. Um, we got. Oh. Umbrella cape. Oh, Zed it's... being the one on this controller. Oh, so now I can use slipstream at any time. Yeah. So now we've gotten some actual new mobility. I do like that, like, whenever, um, like, you have something that, like, at first is, like, rare or, like, requires you to use something in the environment and then later you get a replacement for it that you can use all the time. Yeah. This is, Zelda does this constantly, but it's always exactly with bombs. Um, there's bombs in the environment and then later, before you yeah. unlock the ability to buy them. But I feel like that's like always something that just works. Also, like in a game like this, where like kind of by necessity because it's a small game, um, and there's going to be a fair amount of backtracking. Adding mobility stuff as it knows you're going to need to go through. Yep. Old areas. Yeah. No, I I, th I think that's a very common pattern, giving you mobility powers after you've gone through an area once, yeah. and therefore can go through it quickly. Okay, so it's at the top of the house. Yeah, I think you actually want to keep going along the higher ramp. That's, that's satisfying. Yeah, I'm ignoring that. Uh, no, nothing up there. Oh, can we, can maybe we can smash that now? I don't think we can smash it before. Oh, that, yeah, you're right. May as well, even if it's just optional. Yep. Smash it with fruit. That's, that's my philosophy. Um. Whoops. And then I get that quick spin. So up and then do a quick spin. Yeah. 
kill frequency. Oh, see if you can go up there. Because I think that's the falls, I think. I'm not sure. Okay, so it does have a limit. I mean, barely though. Check that side, because it looks like there's a. There might be like something to find there. Oh, no. Just the one. Surprise, it didn't put one of the little statues there. Yeah. It's kind of weird to have. Like, uh, it like feels a... like somebody just forgot to put a statue there. Oh, possibly there was a statue and we already got it. Oh, yeah. Could be. Yeah. There was. <laughs> I think continue to go aim as high as possible. Also save. I feel like that's always a difficult thing. What's to through there? When you went. Good question. That's probably where we're supposed to go. Well, you're saying higher. Ah. Okay, so here's this is the fall, so we need to go up here. I see. And that's why it's giving us a reminder to use the cape. Yeah, I, I don't feel like these need to be separate buttons. I feel like they could have combined the two. I think it might though be that like they, you actually, they want you to have the ability to switch between whether or not your cape activates and such. I mean, um, the cape is good, but I feel like slipstream and like regular jump should be the same. Smash that. Yeah. You need to yeah, slip stream it. See if you can read the sign. I feel like when those, like, the transformation into little puff balls needs an impact thing, it always feels so. a little bit unsatisfying. Nope, there's no sign. Stands out because puffing them does, feels good. There's some other songs in the game, but I think the the main background loop is just one uh, very long set of the same song.
So, like, when something's happened, like, like when we're when we're talking to people, there's been different. Yeah, this suddenly opens up a bunch of verticality yeah. that wasn't open before, so that you can... I mean, I think that's always a problem, is introducing verticality, because... That's potentially, like, giving you too much space to work with. Yeah, but this is like we're so getting always, chunky into yeah. the game at this point. So as a sort of like okay, we're oh, I'm just thinking like the problem is always like becomes like which cliffs are there's just nothing yeah. of them. So it's something you try to limit. always glad when at least like if you absolutely must have a shitty crystal MacGuffin at least like don't make them evenly paced. Yeah. Just because like you need something to mix it up. Like I don't think even pacing is a bad thing but you have to be uh when there's a lot of them, it can turn into uh... You've got a variety somewhere. Either there needs to be a variety in terms of the uh, things that you are seeking out and doing, or a variety in the pace of them. Yeah. If you're not doing either. Oh, now you can get that one up there because you've got the slipstream ability. Oh, yeah. so chill in yeah. terms of the enemies. some of the most interesting puzzles because of the fact that we're just sort of like trying to get to the end and there's a lot of those little optional statues to find mm. um. huh? we'll see maybe this last area involves a lot of uh, transferring seeds around but we haven't done a ton of that and maybe it's mostly in the next game, but I feel, have a feeling we just happened to skip past it because of optional puzzles. Oh, oh yeah, this is like the first gate we came across. Kill frequency. 
see. Obtain. Good night, Sakoglosa? Sakoglosa. I'll go with Sakoglosa. Lost Twin speed run is 18 minutes. I wonder if it involves any glitches or if it just. I feel 18 minutes it must involve yeah, at definitely. least at some point, some bit where they do a clever skip. You clearly can't just skip to the end, otherwise it'd be shorter than that. You can do it for much less time. Basically just do like one loop. basically taking it out. Yeah. Like, it's effectively uh, the same as well, taking it out. Well, it was out. a late thing. It's yeah. like putting um, a statue or other thing there in that spot really visibly. Yeah. Um. But that also could be related to, like, the file size and just at a certain point not being able to add any more things. Or it could just be testing. Yeah. Like, there's a certain point where you just lock down. Yeah. Adding things that are difficult to add. The, the downside of trying to get into that 40 meg thing is I'm pretty sure there's a lot of like just constant reuse of the same textures. Yeah. Which makes it difficult to uh, to sometimes make stuff stand out as much as you'd like. Oh. 
twice and then directly sideways. Stone. Christine's a liar. We're not naming the pet rock, and we have to keep it. You gotta name things and then let them go. No, that's just. That's... Do we know where we need that? Nope. Duncan works. The walk is Duncan. I mean, to make things easy, all walks when I would call Duncan. It's not even a good name for a rock. Oh no, do we lose it? Don't name shame Duncan, Christine. Mm -hmm. It does not have feelings. I can't believe you're saying such horrible things about Duncan. It's <laughs> not named Duncan. It's like a rock. It's like some sort of weird It's a singy rock. Are you gonna feed it to the puppy? I'm really mad at you right now. <laughs> hey, I'm not the one who left Duncan behind. <laughs> I hate this. Yeah, we did have to backtrack it all the way there. Oh, chest. Yep. There's a few pieces where, like, and it might just be a limit of their engine, which need a little bit more of, like, a god light on something, or, like, something uh, to, to help make these things stand out. Is god light the technical term for that? I think it is. Yeah, that could be time, that could be technical stuff, like, it could basically be, like, we add one more vortex and this thing breaks. <laughs> it's hard to know when they're trying to fit into such a small space. God rays. Yeah. Of course I killed the companion cube without hesitation. I do what I'm told. They're god rays. Ah. Uh -huh. I just knew a deity was involved. Ray, when someone asks you if you want to light something like a god, you say yes. Oops. 
a good point. How can you sing if it has no feelings, Christine? <laughs> Not a good point. That's not a good point at all. Wait, are you saying that Miku has no feelings? I, I'm, I'm, I'm saying that she would kill us without hesitation. That I believe. <laughs> On this, we can agree. <laughs> but in like a caring way. <laughs> like pitiful humans, you must die now. Put you out of your misery. Chamber of Memories. Oh, okay, good. Yay! Teleporting. Somehow, I don't think he'll be friendly. I think it is a bass boss mag mark. Yeah. Neat use of depth of field. Also some cool shapes on that roof at the time. And on the Wii. Oh no, it's coming floor! Ah, 
when you abandon Duncan, Christine. That's not what happens. Do you think it's first hit it with fire, then hit it with that, or hit it with a fire lock? I have no idea. I tried hitting with a fire lock. It didn't seem mm. to work. Yeah, I know I figured it out originally, but I... Use fire to burn his hands, then jump mm. on them and hold them on the up. Okay. Yeah, I don't think that was telegraphed. I noticed a little pop but I yeah. don't feel like it was telegraphed quite enough. Well, especially since, like, it's... I'm guessing we could have maybe done that with the puppies yeah, as well. Yeah, that's definitely not as... Like, you don't need yeah, to know to do that to progress, it. so, like, it's not actually taught. Yeah. Because that is the case. I don't know if that is the case. I love the little, like, rubbing its hand. Super cute weird rock demon thing. Just creating new elements. Just set it all on fire. It's there we go.
Yeah, that is Lost Winds. One, the next one is basically Lost Winds with some of the Oracle of Season stuff mixed in, but in a good way, not oh, in okay. the terrible Oracle of Seasons. <laughs> um, there's actually like a system to how winter works, okay. um, and messing with that is really interesting. Cool. I think they intended to make more and never did, like, didn't have a chance, because, like, I don't think WiiWare was particularly... No, I don't get that impression. Uh, Successful. It is out on Steam now. I don't know how it plays with a frontier a mouse. game of the week design by Stephen I don't know what that was. Yeah, no, definitely like the ending. Uh, this doesn't feel. It has some dramatic issues. Yeah, no, it was supposed to be an episodic thing. Um, well, that's always a bad sign. And I mean, it's weird just because, like, that's like just entirely about the framing device, right? Like, that, like, that final monster could have very easily be framed as like the big evil. Yeah. Or like, you know, as opposed to the big evil being something that happened entirely off screen and only really yeah. obliquely hinted at. There's evil somewhere, somewhere in this world. My guess is, though, that probably, like, building the engine and everything, they knew they were at least going to do one more. Yeah. Because, um, yeah, this is, like, I don't know what this was made in, but this is pre-Unity being... Still, it's not console. a satisfying ending. Oh, it even isn't. For, even for, like, episodic. Like, I feel like, I feel like still, like, even, like, when you're making episodic content, like, you do have to have... In general, I feel like the, if there was a weak point to this game, it is the writing. It is basically like, here is our kind of Zelda yeah. ripoff, told in the same way. Yeah. Oh man, I love just Oh, the, that's cool. The wind going through the Yeah, things. Menu. that's great. Um, but yeah, we'll play through the next one probably next weekend, or at least part of the next one, because it is a bit longer and more substantial than this one. Okay. Um, and I remember less of it, because I think I played through this one twice. Um, and it is, oops, Wii menu, wrong menu, called Lost Winds, Oracle of Seasons? No. That's not the name. I feel confident. Winter of the Melodious. Ah, yes, bottom. And yeah, that adds some really neat new puzzle elements. And yeah, we definitely skipped some of the more complex stuff mm. you could do with the puzzles. We weren't doing a lot of seed trading, which definitely, like, to get some of all of the optional content. I feel like, I don't know if it's a great idea to make your most interesting puzzles be hidden. That's... As optional content. Like, hard ones, yes, but, like, I feel like you should, like... Well, the hard ones are, are the most interesting ones, so that's kind of the case. It's like, it's like that one of the most interesting ones was that one where we had to get the seed out and then use the seed as a weight. Yeah. And all of that stuff, I think, is in for getting the statues. Mm. Um, definitely, like, my sense is that their approach to this game was... Um, that it would be very sort of relaxing and easy to go through. And yeah. so, like, they didn't want you to ever get stuck. So the, th the puzzles where you Clearly. get stuck are the ones for the optional content. It's an interesting um, approach. Yeah, it's interesting. It's um, it's not great in that, like, you can very easily miss some of the more interesting things yeah. when you do that. Because um, you never sort of... You basically... The choice is to have basically no challenge. Um, yeah. So yeah, there's some stuff for that system that I wish we had seen, but since it's been so long since I played, I couldn't go like, oh, wait, do this puzzle. <laughs> yeah. Um, but there's a very, like, nice, solid background in those systems that they created for doing more with. Um, anyways, yeah, we'll be back. Uh, yeah, thanks for joining us. We'll yeah, be back thanks for week. joining. And we might be doing more Metroidvanias over the next little bit. I think that's... At some point we want to do like a really deep dive into like... 
I have not actually played a Castlevania or a Metroid other than the Primes. Man, um, that's, that's... Which, the Primes are not good Metroidvanias. They no, really suffer not. from a lot of bad, this colored missile opens this colored door it's and has like... no difference whatsoever. Anyways, yeah, thanks for watching. Yeah, thanks for joining us.